Hey everyone, it's Diffie Channel again. NFT has been a buzzword for more than a year and the popularity is still high. If you haven't jumped in the wagon yet, good news for you, you still have your chance to tokenize your art and earn of that. But the major hindrance for many beginners out there and the artists as well is high token minting commission. On Ethereum blockchain, it can be done above like $25 or $50. And what to do here? And here am I showing you the way out of that. I strongly recommend you to watch this video until the end because I will answer a few commonly asked questions to guide you through the NFT jungle and help you overcome the steep learning curve. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Okay, if you are a beginner in the crypto world, you may think that NFT is something really complicated. Tell you what, it's easier to create or sort of mint an NFT that you may possibly think. And this is just as simple to do as to make it for free. Before I show you the steps to NFT creation, let me briefly explain to you what it exactly is. So NFT stands for non-fungible token, so NFT. This is a sort of a cryptocurrency with the major difference that each NFT is unique. Fundamentally, NFTs are a way of registering a digital file on the cryptocurrency blockchain to ensure it is one of a kind item and prove your ownership this way. While you can create NFTs on your computer or a laptop that I have here, you can even mint NFTs on your mobile phone. For instance, the best NFT apps on iPhone enable you to create NFTs on Go. Or maybe see how the exact collection is doing pretty much well, So, sort of say tracking the NFTs of various blockchains. So with this in mind, some of the steps below for creating an NFT for free can be made on your smartphone, but I'm using a desktop browser over here, so it is a little bit more easier for me to do. So fully loaded, let me show you the following steps. Start with, you need a crypto wallet. So step number one is to create a crypto wallet account. So you want to have a cryptocurrency wallet to set up an account on any marketplaces out there in order to create these NFTs. We are choosing MetaMask as the one of the most widely popular and known and it's much more accessible than any others. But here are as well some alternatives such as Coinbase wallet, for example. When you create your wallet account, you will be given a 12 word seek phrase. So this is sort of a unique password for that. Make sure you keep it safe and don't share it with anyone because the seek phrase acts as your security code, which is handy if you forget your password. Next step over here is to create an account on NFT Marketplace. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm sticking to a platform called Rarible, but the same approach can be applied to any NFT Marketplace out there. So once you set up your account and you added some info like your name, photo buy and so on, link your MetaMask account to your Rarible by following the instructions you see on the screen. Linking your two accounts ensures your NFTs won't disappear on the wallet and these transactions can be easily completed. So by linking your two accounts, it ensures that your NFTs will appear in your wallets and all the transactions that can be easily completed as well. To do so, you need to go to the MetaMask settings to automatically bring in your NFTs. My MetaMask wallet also acts as my variable login. So I'll spend some time personalizing your NFT marketplace account. In a banner image and link to your social media accounts, you should do as well. And the more time you spend ensuring your socials are connected, it is the better. You'll find your art is more visible when you add details to your page. Now here comes the most challenging part and step three is paint some art. If you are a digital artist, you won't have problems with that. But if not, you can quickly create a new pieces of art. So for example, let's Google some random photo references and create a sketch using the painting app like Rebel 5. You don't have to focus on details, it's just maintain a general sense of the face and all the proportions that you have. An NFT can be any digital art, so by creating an art, you should actually enjoy making it. You are also free to use any software that you like. Okay, so save the new painting as a JPEG and prepare to upload it to your new NFT marketplace account and mint it as NFT. This is going to be your next step and number four, upload your art. 
These NFT marketplace sites like Gradable have very user-friendly interfaces and guides to upload your art and the process is generally the same. But please note that some NFT marketplaces may want to verify you first and this process can take a few days as well. So click the Create tab in the top right of your account and continue. You'll need to choose a blockchain and on Radable there are four choices that you have including new low carbon cryptos like Flow, Tezos and Polygon. To create an NFT for free, I choose Ethereum. And now the rest is a matter of few single clicks and step number five, choose free minting. The next option helps you decide the value and the type of NFT that you are creating. So for example, choose single to create a one on unique NFT or if you want to make a series and collection, stick to multiple and create an NFT collection here. So you know the drill, set the price and add the name in the description and make sure you switch free minting to on. Free minting or lazy minting enables you to put the fees for minting onto the buyer's shoulders so we won't be charged. When you mint an NFT, usually you are charged gas fees, so it is sort of the cost of transaction on the blockchain. The unit on gas in Ethereum is called GUI. And depending on the traffic of the blockchain as you are minting, the fee can be increased or decreased. So the greater the traffic, the higher the cost. Often it can be cheaper in the late evenings or early mornings, so you should catch up with the time. But I'm not being charged here because I choose free minting. The downside to the pushing the gas fees onto the buyers is that you should lower your asking price or mint your NFT as an auction and let the buyer decide that. And finally, congratulations, your NFT is finally minted. If you want to sell your digital masterpiece as soon as possible, share the news about your NFT as soon as possible as well. You can link the new NFT directly to Twitter, Facebook or any other social media accounts um, from with the NFT marketplace. You see, minting an NFT for free is easy to do but there are some things you need to know first. The advantage of free minting enables you to quickly create an NFT, but it can have some drawbacks as well as NFT marketplaces tend to make normal NFTs more visible. Because of this method, you'll need to make more of your social channels for promotions. And now, as I promised, I will answer a few commonly asked questions about NFTs. So the first one is, what gives an NFT value? And the answer is, it's all about rarity and status help an NFT achieve its value. For example, an NFT created by established artists such as Beeple, Damon Hirst and Takashi Murakami will be worth a lot. But NFTs here are breaking the rules. New artists today are finding new ways to ensure NFTs differ from traditional art. And here, community and utility is a major factor. Think of an NFT such as Board Ape Yacht Club as a ticket to a club, exclusive club, so they have exclusive events, chat groups and projects to be involved with and these community-driven NFTs have a lot of value, believe me. And here's one of my favorite and most logical questions, why is NFT JPEG worth so much? An NFT JPEG is worth so much because it's not the JPEG that you're buying but rather the hash token on the blockchain. For example, the CryptoPunk art is the visual thing we can find easy to understand, but the true value of the NFT is the benefits it can bring to, like, by being on the blockchain. This can include being invited to exclusive real-life events, so you should remember that as well. Next question is, how much does it cost to make an NFT? So, as you've seen in this video, it can be for free by using lazy minting. Standard NFTs can vary wildly in the cost of gas fees to generate and register on the blockchain and the cost rises and falls as the blockchain is being used. So a typical NFT can cost around the 10 bucks but at the peak network congestions fees can reach up to I don't know like 200 or 2000 so choose the timing properly. The next question is what kinds of NFTs sell the best? NFTs that have utility will always sell because they embrace the full functionality of the blockchain. Here are some great examples of popular and expensive NFTs and they are not only about hype, they bring owners real additional value. You can pause this video for a sec and check this list. And the last question for today, can I avoid uh, gas fees without using lazy minting? And I'd say yes, but to a certain degree. Newer NFT crypto blockchains allow you to set the gas fee limit 
you will need to pay to mint an NFT. It will be processed and minted at the time when the gas fees matches your set levels. And also consider avoiding minting an NFT on Tuesday and Thursdays because these are, I don't know, historically the busiest and costliest days. Okay guys, that was it for today and now you know how to mint an NFT with zero budget using only your time and talent. If you still have any questions left, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. Oh, and almost forgot, don't miss our new tutorial. So subscribe to the channel, hit thumbs up button and bell notification and see you around in the next videos.